Yo, what up guys? Iripism here, and welcome back to another video. This is episode 23 of Raise Dev, and um, I just want to do things today. So let's begin by uh, looking at the current map. Um, you see these uh, flowers around? This is actually Bug. Uh, these are a lot of uh, flowers and rays, or from too high ferns, or tall grass. They turn into these one block things. And I might have to do an MC edit, but it happens everywhere that I can imagine where I place these new types of flowers. Um, yeah, it makes rays look really strange because we have a dark jungle. I mean, I have night vision, so it doesn't really look dark. So um, let's do it. Effect, repism, clear. It doesn't really fit the theme at all. So yeah, that that's all point. Um, looks very strange with that and yeah rays is played without night vision so wow it's just gonna look great um i forget how detailed it looks with um the lighting on or yeah lighting on so yeah um yeah it looks much better uh than before but yeah so we have a lot to do today and today we want to begin with you know experience camps and as you can see all the green beacons represent available experience camps so this one is not a camp because there's nothing here that supports a camp being here but over here there is and is green glass um, red is um, just taken and that's respawning it's very close to white but it's not you can definitely tell that's gray, though, from afar. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but there'll be carpet over this, so you can't really see the glass. So, for example, see how there's spruce? We'll put brown carpet, like so. And I think I did it like this. There we go. Something like that, I think I did. Yep. And yeah, you can't really see the carpet now. It still works the same. Um, so yeah, that's how it's going to work. I keep it open just for the coordinates when I do that later. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So yeah, there's three camps. There's one, two, three on the left side. There's one camp on the right side, and that's right here. And then there's one more camp in here so this one doesn't have an indication this might be a buff this might be something of a sort i don't know exactly what it's going to be because we can't really punch holes through the ceiling over here so yeah that would have to go game mode one that would go straight up into here game mode three now it would go through here, it would go through here, it would just look really strange. You can't have a hole here either, so yeah, um it'll be something. Uh we'll I'll have to think of that. Something though, in the time being. So I just fixed a bug while eating lunch here. <laughs> you can tell how distance these recordings are, but um here take a look. I'm gonna start game, lock in. And this is gonna turn on. And when I reset, it used to not reset this clock, but now it does. Um, so you saw a tick in between this got filled and then a tick after this got filled. And that's due to this repeater. Uh, but yeah, it, it broke everything because I didn't have that. Uh -huh, so yeah, because <laughs> it would stay on and yeah, a lot of problems persisted. So I was streaming the other day, guys, and I have some things to show. It's the experience um, calculator essentially and the locations and all that. So I started working on it with these green areas. I kind of showed this before in the video but I didn't really go into detail as to what is being calculated. So I just want to explain it to you this time around. I do want to show you some voice pack edits for Reaper. I think it's really good. I want to kind of compare it. Like, um, the difference in, uh, my technology, I guess, and my progression in audacity. 
has changed and just overall voice acting maybe I guess that could be a factor but um yeah but before we get into that I just wanted to explain experience progression is raise is very different than any other MOBA in raves you automatically gain experience by doing absolutely nothing so after a certain amount of time no matter what you're guaranteed level 25 which is a max level in raves um, however Getting to 25 before your opponents is a huge, huge buff to yourself and a huge, uh, you know, it's like you're a hero essentially for doing so. You're so much more powerful at level 25 than you are at level 20 um, because the progressive stats and raves really determine that. Um, so, that being said, um, how are we going to calculate this? Um, so I went into last video, I kind of demonstrated, or two videos ago, uh, you know, how much experience it takes for, you know, to do this and that. And yeah, that works and stuff. Um, now we just gotta determine the values for each experience camp. We also have to determine the AIs for each experience camp. Um, so yeah, I just want to explain that small part. And then let's move on to another thing. Alright guys, so I'm now a Marader. And, oh yeah, I was showing, uh... One of the builders from Ray's, Jetflop, uh, really, you know, the things that happened. It was pretty interesting. We had a great talk on this stream. If you want to check that out, it's still available in the stream. Just go to my recent broadcast. Um, and yeah, I want to showcase this. Um, this guy. So he follows. He stays behind you wherever you look, the four directions. He has a little animation and sounds, and he disappears. He has a lifetime, all in this system. That's the system that does everything that you just saw. This is the animation for the system. Uh, so we can take a look at how this works. So as you can see, this compared to stays on much longer than this one does. And this is kind of the animation for it. So if I show you this. Since you see him bobbing a little bit, that's vital, that's vital, um, you know, animation for this guy. I really wanted to bob while he's following you around. Basically how I achieve that is, for a very small, brief amount of time, I give him no gravity. Or I give him, yeah, I give him no gravity, and then I give him gravity back for a very long time, and then set it to zero. And it creates, this delay creates him bobbing, essentially without falling. Now if I just had him set to no gravity, I'm going to show you what happens. Um, so he's constantly being teleported to me. Um, and let me show you when I give him no gravity. So he's technically always above me, but um, when you have no gravity like that, tends to do weird things like this. Now he's following me, but following at the same time. And you can't have that. It updates when he hits the ground. Um, but yeah, he's being teleported to me, you know, 20 times a second. So there can be no way, you know, he's falling like that, but it's just the bug. So that's why it works like this, very fluid. And the animation's very small right now. Um, and he looks down now. This is new. Um, so yeah, this guy auto targets enemies um, if they're within a radius. So, and it, he slows them. He just teleports to them, stays a distance away, teleports them, stays a distance like he's doing to me, um, and it slows them. So yeah, it's pretty awesome, and I can't wait to use it uh, in raise. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. It's such a cool ability, and this is the horse um, from Reeves, look how fast he is, and this is the horse with mount like you are this fast and you're able to slow people potentially for 13 seconds for 50% you wanna know what 50% feels like? I'll show you scoreboard, player, set, reapism, m speed, negative 50 this is 50% guys um, this is while jumping. Um, again, we're going to try to come up with a way to stop players from jumping while being slowed. 
so you can't spawn blocks above technically um, but you can give you can teleport them that there's other ways that we're gonna try to do it hopefully it works uh, in our favor and it's not really a detriment to the gameplay so yeah uh, that's something to show really um, so yeah, this is 50% movement speed and 100% um, so this works dynamically now it's been upgraded the system and it is right here all right guys so the next clips you're gonna hear is the reaper sound and basically I'm gonna have text on the screen explaining what's going on how recent the uh, audio is and what it, what it's saying if you can't understand it uh, let me know how clear it is though um, actually you know I'm not gonna put captions and let me know if you're able to distinguish and hear what this guy is saying uh, or the reaper saying because if it's not really you know if you can't understand what he's saying then there's no point of having a voice pack right so it needs to be clear clear enough to understand in an engagement uh, but still have that uh, characteristic of the god as well or yeah or the lore with him so yeah I'm gonna play the sounds and enjoy please I hate my kind I think I just went to boom boom. I hate ranged mortals. That sustain will last you very long. Come here, you little fly. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. So when you heard the phrase be careful three times, did you notice a huge difference between them? Now the second one sounds like it got cut off because it used to say be careful please, but I didn't want to confuse you guys. So I cut out the please part on the second one, and that's why it sounds like it's cut off. So if you can ignore that in your opinion, that factor in your opinion of the sounds that'd be great but um huge difference as you can see in the sounds that's how all the sounds used to sound like before with the first be careful like very harsh um not really smooth transition to a a sound and then third one is like fluid and has voice acting in it and still sounds demonic and scary so I'm really proud of it and I think it's come a long way now if you want a relative dates the third sound was made uh, let's see October 29th and uh, 2014 October 29th 2014 and the first sound was made June 24th 2014 uh, June July August September about four months apart um, you can see how long things take um, things take a very long time guys especially the schedule I'm working with unfortunately it's just going to take as long as uh, anticipated I guess as long as people say it's gonna take it it really is gonna take that long race but um, it's getting progress uh, it's getting its progress done um, pretty remarkably it's still it's still being worked on you know like crazy when I have time so that's good um, so I'm really proud for that I'm really happy to kind of show you guys that I want to know what you guys think if you don't normally leave comments I suggest you do let me know what you guys think of those sounds um, some of the phrases you won't understand until you kind of meet that class uh, for example come here you little fly uh, he says when he dies by Aerox, it's because Aerox moves very, very fast um, in later stages of the game. So he's very hard to catch and so are flies. So there's the phrase there. And then that sustain won't last you very long for Nizareth. That is because Nizareth is the tank in Raze. He's the guardian. Um, so he has a lot of sustain as well. He has healing. Um, so... That's why Reaper says that, and then I hate my kind for his own class, because fighting and you're fighting another Reaper against a Reaper, whoever gets to jump first basically wins. Um, so you hate yourself because he just wrecked you. 
<laughs> um, yeah, that's a little bit of the logic there. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to make another episode soon. Take care, guys, and take it easy.